In this question, we'll go over how to write an electron configuration. We'll begin with aluminum. To write the configuration, we'll go to the periodic table. First, we locate aluminum on the periodic table. It's located here on level 3. Now, to write the configuration, we'll have to list all of the levels and all of the subshells we have to travel through in order to reach aluminum. We'll begin in the upper left corner on level 1. If we start on the left side, this block that is two elements wide is referred to as the S block. Now, level 1 only has S electrons. The other box for level 1 is located all the way here on the right side, but somewhat strangely, it's still considered part of the S block, but only on level 1. So we'll begin by writing the level 1, the block, S, and then we have two boxes on level 1, so we'll start with 1S2. After completing level 1, we'll move to level 2. We'll begin on the left side. On level 2, we are in the S block, and again we have two boxes for level 2. So we'll now say 2S2. Once we complete the S block, we jump across this gap in the periodic table to the other side. This block is called the P block. We are on level 2. We haven't reached aluminum yet, so we're going to continue across the P block. We can count that the P block has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 boxes. So for this, we'll list the level 2, the block P, and write 6 for 6 boxes. This gives us 2P6. Now that we've completed level 2, we move to level 3. On level 3, we must again go through the S block. So we'll say level 3, block S, 2 boxes wide. So we'll write 3S2. Now we're going to stop on aluminum. Aluminum is the first box in the P block. We are still on level 3. We are now in the P block, but we will only say 3P1 because the aluminum is the first box in the 3P section. And so this is the complete configuration for aluminum. To write the condensed configurations, what we can do is replace the core with a noble gas. We might note that the level 3 is the highest level. These electrons are called valence electrons. Now, any level below the valence is going to be called a core electron. So this describes level 1 and level 2 for aluminum. Also, any electrons that are part of incomplete levels are considered valence. Our only incomplete section is the 3P section, but since that's level 3, we already know that's valence. So we'll replace the core with a noble gas that has two levels. So let's consult the periodic table and locate the noble gas on level 2. The noble gases are always in group 18. And so the noble gas that is on level 2 is neon. So in place of the core, we'll say neon in brackets, or NE, and then continue by saying 3S2, 3P1. This is the condensed form.
Now let's continue and try the same example on iron. We'll go to the periodic table and locate iron. Iron is located on the fourth level inside of this block in the middle. The block in the middle is called the D block. The D block is different from the P or S sections. We have to be careful here because when we cross into the D block, we go down one level. So we start on level four as we cross into this section, but when we cross this black line, we drop down to level three temporarily. Now, if we go far enough in the table to exit the D block, we go back up by one. And so once we cross over this line into gallium, we would go back to level four. The same thing will happen on level five. When we cross this line, we drop down a level to four, and when we cross the other line next to indium, we go up a level to level five. So with this in mind, let's write a configuration for iron. We begin, as always, with one S, and we are definitely completing the first level at the very least, so we'll say one S2. We must also cross level two, so we'll have two S2, on the left, and 2P6 on the right. Again, we must cross through level three as well, because we're trying to get down to the fourth level so that we can reach iron. So we'll also have 3S2 and 3P6. And once we complete level three, we'll go down to level four, and we'll do 4S2 for the S block, Then we cross over into 3D. We drop down to level three as we go into the D block. And then we count how many boxes we need to go through to reach iron. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six boxes before we reach iron. We will have three D six. Level three, block D, six electrons into the block, allows us to reach iron. Now, our valence electrons are the highest level, that's 4s2, but also include the 3d6 because the 3d6 is incomplete. Remember that incomplete levels are still considered valence. So therefore, 4s2 and 3d6 are the valence, and then the other electrons are the core. So we'll need to find the core and rewrite it in a different way in order to write the condensed configuration. So we'll need to find a noble gas on level three. We return to the table and we see that on level three, our noble gas in group 18 is argon. So instead of writing these core electrons, we will write argon, and then 4s2, 3d6. We can also write a configuration for silver, Ag. We'll use the same principles we've used in the previous problems. Now, silver is located on level 5 inside of the D block. So we will need to go through level one, two, three, and four in order to reach silver. We can copy the configuration we've already written. We know that silver is lower on the table than aluminum or iron, so we'll use what we've learned from iron to speed the process up. We know level one is 1s2. We know level two is 2s2 and 2p6. We know level three is 3s2, 3p6. We know for level four, we'll have 4s2. Let's make sure we get the D right as well. 
So now we are on 4S2. We'll cross through all of the boxes in the D. We'll be on level 3 in the D. And we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 boxes. So we write 3D10. Now, when we cross this second black line, we jump to level 4. And we'll have level 4, block P, and again, 6 boxes. We'll write 4P6. Now, we drop to level 5. We'll have 5S2, level 5, block S, 2 boxes. Now we jump down a level to level 4 and count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 boxes. So we will have level 4, block D, 9 boxes. So 4, D9. Now, be careful if you have a D9 in your configuration. Now, if you have a D9 or D4 in your configuration, there is something you can do. Because you can promote one of the previous S up to D. This will happen whenever you have a D4 or a D9 as the last member of your configuration. So that 5S2 for D9, you're going to give D one more and take that from the S. And so instead of writing 5S2 for D9, we will write 5S1 for D10. So our configuration for silver is now 1S2, 2S2, 2P6, 3S2, 3P6, 4S2, 3D10, 4P6, 5S1, and then 4D10. Now, our valence will be the 5S1 and 4D10. And our core will be everything up to 4P6, and so we'll need a noble gas on level 4. So on level 4, we can see that our noble gas is krypton. So, for our condensed form, we will say Kr for krypton, 5s1, and then 4d10. This will be our condensed configuration for silver. So, this is how we write electron configurations. Be especially careful if you end on d4 or d9.